Hi everyone, this is Doctor Hum. Now I was both shocked and disappointed when I saw an article published in the British Medical Journal titled "COVID-19 Researcher Blows the Whistle on Data Integrity Issues in Pfizer Vaccine Trial." Now I always try to read into it a little bit more before I jump into a conclusion, and then I saw a video made by Doctor Sunil Dan here on YouTube. I、uh, also talked about and break down this article very nicely, and if you Don't know Dr. Sunil Dan? I highly suggest you check out his channel and his video. I don't know him personally, but I think he's a great guy. Now, so instead of going over what he had already talked about in his video, I want to approach this topic a little bit differently. So very quickly, the article basically reported a very serious vaccine trial error that had happened at one of Pfizer's contract research organization, Ventavia. Research group. Now, one of their formal employees was fired, presumably because she filed a report to the FDA stating how the vaccine clinical trial went wrong at her company, possibly involving about 1,000 participants. The errors, such as protocol deviations, lack of timely follow-up on patients who experienced adverse events, unblinding of vaccine and placebo groups, and many more. I try to see. If there are any major media reporting this video, and surprisingly, one news media, CBS 17, reported the article. They also quoted a professor at UNC stating that could be an unnecessary focus and anxiety about this breaking story. The main reason is that the Pfizer vaccine has already proven to work quite well in the real world. Now I don't want to argue how well the vaccine work in the real world in this video, and we've talked about those in other videos based on their presented data. But instead, I want to point out how the FDA handled this incident. Now, according to the article, the employee emailed FDA on September twenty fifth, twenty twenty, stating her concerns. Now, although the FDA reached out to her via email and a phone call within hours and a few days, the FDA did not appear to continue the discussion any further with her after their phone conversation. And in August twenty twenty. One, the FDA published a summary of its inspection of clinical sites, and Ventavia was not one of the nine sites the FDA had visited. Now, when the public is told to trust the FDA, trust the process, incidents like that are really not helping to make a strong argument to support that statement. Pfizer is not innocent either. They did not mention problems at the Ventavia site when they submitted data for their EUA in December 2020. Now, as of the time when I'm making this video, Pfizer still has not released any statement regarding the incident that had happened at Ventavia. I understand error does happen, and we are human, and we are human being. No one is perfect. The problem is how we should handle errors when it occurs. This is a research ethical problem or issue. The article concluded that Ventavia was also hired to do vaccine trials in children, young adults, pregnant women, and a booster dose. These clinical trials have much fewer participants, so it is unimaginable what the implications could be. Now, as always, I try to be as neutral as I could and present the benefit data when it really shows benefit. And I also want my viewer to be aware what else is happening in the scientific world. Now, now that billions of Pfizer vaccines have been given to people around the world, the question is no longer only limiting to its efficacy and safety, but also their research practice. And incidents like this definitely is not helping to resolve people's hesitancy. Now, that's. All I have for in this video, and I hope this video stays. And I'll see you in my regular Sunday updates. So please take care and stay safe. Bye.